Before we jump into Pimp My Salad, just so people get a good grasp of your um, microbiology and um, and your science background, because uh, you have an MD and a PhD in cell and cellular and uh, molecular biology. Yeah, yeah. The Russian um, State Medical University in Moscow. Yeah. Um, you've also you're also a doctor of philosophy, uh, philosophy PhD in biochemistry and my, uh, molecular biology from the University of Massachusetts, um, and you've done many studies um, and you've got a lot of experience as a researcher and stuff like that. So, how um, obviously studying things at, at, at such a microscopic level, I would imagine. Um, your understanding of how our bodies work and nutritionally how our bodies work is so fundamentally important. How, tell me how it all transpired into your background um, and then moving into the food industry. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, as, as you you mentioned, I, I, I did my PhD in medical science, which is true. So you basically study different small molecules responsible for some pathway that can lead to the development of disease. And we do a lot of drug development then. Yeah. So we say, okay, we can block this bad protein and maybe people can feel better. Yeah, but when I've been, I've been working in Philadelphia in cancer center, so you see a lot of sick people and you kind of and I kind of started thinking how, how can we really prevent diseases but not treat them right mm -hmm. because very often when you treat them it's it's still quite quite late that's right eat them the, yeah yeah and then I've noticed that lifestyle and the way you eat can can really influence how you feel. And there are so many reports from other people that they can treat cancer by changing the way they eat and the way they live, right? A hundred percent. Yeah, I'm a yeah. I'm believer of that. I think you are. You literally are what you eat. The more we nourish ourselves um, with whole foods. Um, the better we feel. I know I feel better when I when I eat um, whole foods, fresh foods, uh, as opposed to you know having a donut or um, or, or having you know takeaway. So it, it yeah, makes, yeah, it's crucial. And I think the older you get, the the more you you're more in tune with your body and you kind of understand what it needs to. You know, yeah, um, yeah, to, to feel to feel good, yeah. And I've been living in America in such an interesting time when healthy food started growing. Wow! So it was like this time when this trend started developing, and it was very exciting because many people became interested in this, and some people at my at my work, okay, let's try green smoothies. And it's this time green smoothies was something weird. You don't drink green stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So we started doing this just uh, for curiosity to get more energy, to be more focused on work. And then this trend like plant based uh, raw food started developing when you eat kind of uncooked raw plant based uh, meals. And it's such a like different way of cooking, right? When you can actually make milk from nuts which was really, really strange during this time. Now, like almond milk, it's something normal, but like 15 years ago, it was yeah. something very unusual. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I started doing lots of interesting, like cooking techniques, like drying, dehydrating products, making different like dehydrated crackers to wow. keep food alive and still keep it tasty. Yeah, so I think that's where I started Interest, interest in, in food. It was like my side hobby. Ah. Yeah, and I didn't have kids this time, so I would work in my lab, then come back home and like, oh, okay, let's try to make those raw crackers from nuts and seeds. Let's try to make this, this, this. So I've been trying lots of different things 
sprouting, you know. Wow, wow. Yeah. Because it's all about keeping the food and the enzymes in the food as fresh and as alive as possible because yeah. even even at home, like when we cook, you know, often by the time you cook your meal, you've lost all the nutrition or the density of the nutrition in, in, yeah, the, in the meal yeah. anyway. So you're not really getting all the, the vitamins and the minerals and the macros and all those things we need to function on a cellular level, I believe, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, and sometimes we eat, we eat something that don't digest as well too, for example, nuts, seeds, they, they, they have the, the, those proteins that block them from digestion. But if we soak them, then we kind of activate them and make them more alive, easier to digest. That's right. Yeah, and that's- yeah so all these small things. So, the, so that's the difference between your process is you spend you spend time activating and keeping all the nourishment in your products so that uh, we when we ingest them we get the most out of them. So, yeah, you mentioned you dehydrate and you activate. What are some of the other processes you use in in pimp my salad products that um, because it, it's it's a unique it's a unique concept and um, and. I can say this from experience because I've used the products. They're, I've used them as a snack on the go. I've used them on my salads. I've topped them up on my soups. Um, and, you know, when I feel like bacon but I don't want to actually have bacon, I'll use the coconut uh, bacon um, uh, uh, chips. And, um, and and they're great and they're super convenient and ve- very, very easy. Um, what What are some of the other processes that you use? Because they all taste different to each other. They've all got their own yeah. individual flavour. Um, so I'd imagine you, you mentioned dehydration and activation. Are there any other methods you use to, to capture the, the um, I guess? I the, think for, for some products for spice sunflower seeds, for example, we even sprout them a little bit overnight. Okay. So we just put them in like wet uh, container for overnight. So they have like a little sprout grow growing. Wow. And I think it would all affect the taste because they become like crunchier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I think the drying by by itself allows spices to infuse quite deep in the product. So it's quite flavorful, even so to be used on the natural ingredients. So we kind of try to stick to, to very simple ingredients you can really read and understand easily. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because like if you if you saw like there's so many vegan products like vegan meats, even vegan bacon, and ingredients are just terrifying. It's like soy isolate, different antioxidants, so much stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we try to make it really simple and really natural. Yeah, so no artificial. No feelers, nothing. And, that, yeah. and and you can taste it in the product. You yeah, can, yeah. You can. Yeah. My my sister's a vegan, um, and um, and I've tried some of some of the 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 vegan meats and you know or they might yeah, need yeah. to be meats but they're not really meats and yeah not uh, really. and um i look, look i i can't do i can't digest them i feel like um i don't know what's in them first of all every time you look at the back of the the, the ingredient list you're yeah. like, mm, that's i can't understand what that says that must be bad for me uh, but i do get to that I, I guess i'm not a vegan so i don't know but i'm not a big um meat eater eat i'm more vegetarian pescatarian down that road that's me personally but if, if occasionally if i feel like having a piece of meat i'll have a piece of meat um yeah. but i could imagine also for for vegans that are you know my sister's been a vegan for over i want to say over 15 years but i might be wrong um and i know sometimes you know she might crave having a hamburger or what have you and i, I guess it's a good substitute occasionally but not something that you know, yeah. you could have every day. So you and your partner have travelled because I know reading um, reading on your website that you guys have done a lot of travelling and that was another inspiration behind your product as well. You wanted something that was easy, that you can take with you, that you can snack. So you're obviously um, – is it Russian? Am I right in saying that you're Russian? Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. that's correct. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. You've exactly. obviously travelled from Russia to to the US, and, and now you're in Australia. Tell me about that journey. So, how did how did all that eventuate? Yeah, I think I left Russia quite a, 
a while ago. So I did my PhD in America already for some kind of exchange visa. So yes. yeah, I've been living in America for a while and then my visa finished and we were like, oh, do we want to really live in America? Do we want to apply for green card? Yeah. Why wouldn't we see the other countries? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that is how we decided to come to Australia because it's it's a nice country, nice weather, people speak English there. <laughs> yeah, so we didn't want to learn any other English, so we didn't want to go to Europe or somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I would say, yeah, Australia was a nice option. So I just got a job in Monash University. It's how I um, moved to Australia. Yeah, so I just got my job and I've been... I've been living in Melbourne before. Ah, so you, so yeah. you're, so you know Melbourne. This, that's where yeah, we yeah, are, yeah. where I we're based. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we came to 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 Melbourne, and that's actually where I I started this food business in Melbourne. Because when we came in Melbourne, we were like, where well, it's all those exciting healthy products we see in America. Yeah. Because in Melbourne during this time it wasn't much available. It was like a dramatic difference between American healthy food market and local. What yeah. year? What year was that, Olga? Year, I think it was like twelve years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eleven years ago. Yeah, yeah. 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 So now it's dramatic change. It's now. huge. It's I was, I'm just dramatic. trying to. Yeah, it's because it, it's, it's, yeah. it's a completely different market now completely. in terms of um, yeah. health food and plant based and keto and you can pretty much get anything and and not anything. just used to be um, just in certain health food shops like if, the, if it was a well stocked health food shop you can certainly buy a few bits and pieces but now even supermarkets are stocking a good range of yeah good, it is good it is already food. like mass market trend healthy food like yeah. wool, wool wars really yeah no yeah, 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 yeah. yeah yeah so yeah during this time it was nothing that's why i started cooking at home a lot uh, and then i had some extra time and we were like okay why w- wouldn't we try to sell mm. our products yeah. And yeah, so, and actually, our first product was kale chips, not Pimp My Salad. Really? Yeah, yeah. So, actually, Pimp My Salad was born from kale chips. There you go. My son loves kale chips, my oldest. Yeah. My oldest, um, he's um, he's twenty two, or he'll be twenty two in, in mm-hmm. a couple of weeks, and um, and he just like eats them out. And that's how I got introduced to the kale chips. I'm like, what are you eating? As mum, you don't understand. These are really really nice. And I'm like, yeah, but it's what is it? And he's like, trust yeah. me, just just have it. And I'm like, actually, this is really nice. And now I, I'll scrunch them and put them on a salad for a bit of. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly how we created Pip My Salad, right? Because we started making kale chips and selling them in farmers markets, in different events. And what we've noticed, like some people wanted to have something healthy, yeah. but it was too much for them to eat dried kale, right? Yeah, and yeah. what they did exactly what you've been doing, putting them in their salad. So they would like, oh, we would like to break them, yeah. crush them and put them in, in our salads. And we're like, oh, it's such a waste. And why, soups. Why? It's <laughs> awesome. They're awesome in soups. Like, you know, yeah, you, know, you yeah. do a pumpkin soup and you, you crush a few of those on top. It's yum. Yeah. Yeah, I should actually yeah, yeah. I should take photos of how I use your products because I use it a lot and I love it. But, yeah, yeah. he introduced me to – I didn't even realise that you can make chips out of kale. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's what we've been doing. Yeah, and then – We've noticed that many people would crush them and we've noticed this trend that people love to put something healthy to their meals. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then we're like, okay, we have those crumbles left over from kale cheese production. Let's just put them in a jar and sell them. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> yeah, good yeah. Idea. And, and my husband, Alex, created name Pimp My Cellar. So what we just did, put them in a jar, put like Pimp My Cellar label and started selling in the markets. And the rest and is people history. love them. Yeah, well, they do. And you've expanded. Yeah. You're like, I was reading some of the stats. Like you you guys are actually have expanded a lot in, in, in many – let me just find uh, my notes here because um, – I believe your um, – because your brand, Extraordinary Foods, that's part of the kale chips and then Pimp My, yeah. sal- Pimp my Salad's a, a derivative yeah, yeah. of that one, yeah? Yeah, yeah. It's, I think we've we've grown a lot. So you can now buy Pimp My Salad in Woolworths. Yes, you can. 
Yes, yeah, she can. yeah, yeah. Not in all wool horses. It's like two hundred wool horses, like more like premium kind of wool horses. Yeah, yeah. And that's interesting. So basically, we 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 just created. It's 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 not really we created pimp my salad, right? We've noticed that people love to put something healthy in their foods, and we just okay. Let's let's give this to people. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> well, it, well, that's yeah. your guiding point, is it? Isn't it? Yeah. It's you, you. You know, you've you've tapped into a market, and there's obviously a market for and in Australia too. And you you've come in at the right time as we're transitioning into more whole foods and becoming a little bit more educated about um, eating better and nutrition and how that affects our bodies. You've come in at the right time with a product that's not only tasty, um, it's whole and it's super super uh, uh, diverse. Uh, you yeah, can use yeah. it on. You can use it on so. Many Many different things so it's it's fantastic and how how when did you actually start pit myself what year was it that you started it i think we started it uh around eight nine years ago but we kind of started very slowly as a side project because i've been still working in university so we've been selling a little bit in melbourne uh yeah yeah doing some some markets and then i think the serious business started maybe five six years ago when we started uh national distribution wow that wow. was like the point when you you become more serious because once you engage with your distributor they can supply national wide yeah so it yeah. was like really big big, That's step. A big yeah. step yeah yeah does that yeah, change yeah. does that change your manufacturing process because you sound like you went from small you know just kind of doing it as a hobby and selling it at markets to now actually uh producing thousands and thousands of jars and chips and and what have you like how how did your manufacturing process and did that change the the quality of the product or did you did you mitigate that i think i think we still keep very good quality and we are still like small business compared to Heinz or something yeah, yeah. like we still produce very little yeah so it's still da done very much by hands oh fantastic still. that's yeah, nice yeah so, yeah yeah so it's still yeah yeah, so people still they like they would mix uh, seeds, put them on trays by hands actually to dry, then unload trays, pack. Yeah, yeah. So it's still it's still quite quite a small operation. So it's not like fully automatic production yeah, line. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I feel when you grow, it's actually easier to control quality because you can allow to have special people who like quality control managers and yeah, such. Yeah yeah, yeah 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 so i actually feel that quality improved since we grow that's right because you've got to be actually that makes sense because you've got to be more rigid because you are yeah. producing more products so you've got to make sure that it's all you know on point yeah 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 so that's 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 been exciting change and now we are we are growing even more because we we started uk market so we sell in london now and and trying to get to more markets Fantastic. that's so yeah good. yeah so yeah good. because we want to have like more people trying our products Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And there's no reason, um, and, and, and globally, I think that the health food space um, and, and eating better is, 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 a, is a huge, huge business, of billions, I believe. Um, yeah. So there's absolute, so there's definitely a demand for it. And people want to try something new. And people love Australian products in the yeah, house. Yeah. They love overseas. Every time I go overseas, it's like, oh, you know, you guys make this and we can't get it here and it's so good. And I think it's because we've got such strict um processes as well here in Australia too they know they're getting a good quality yeah. product um, which is fantastic yeah. how so you've got a couple of little kids as well so you, yeah, you go yeah. so you're in Melbourne you start your business in Melbourne it's doing really yeah. well so then you, now you've moved to Byron Bay so yeah. how did so I mean you're in the right place for pimp my salad yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, when I'm like it doesn't surprise me all the, all, all the cool healthy stuff comes from Byron Bay <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. How yeah, did yeah. you end up in Byron Bay? I think it was just an accident, to be honest. 
Yeah, I had a friend who been saying you must go to Byron Bay, you will love it. So we went for vacation and we really love it. And like we why wouldn't we move there? Yeah. Because yeah. it was yeah, yeah, because people were so nice and it was so so much healthy food going around. Like in Byron Bay, we have so many healthy food businesses. I, and yeah. it's just to collaborate. So it's such a nice environment uh to grow the business. Yeah, so I think it was just okay. Let's just move to Melbourne or to Byron. Perfect. Yeah. Well, you're, yeah. yeah and, and the weather's fantastic and great for produce, you know, because you've got that nice sunshine and and it's yeah. such a laid back lifestyle. Everyone loves Byron. I think everyone goes to Byron and just has has a chill time. But your business, um, I noticed on your website too. You know, you've got the group of people that work with you. You're all like a like you like you you appear to be like a big family that everyone loves to do their part because you're very passionate about uh, people nourishing themselves with the right food yeah. and and keeping healthy where did that passion come from obviously you've got that medical background but is there anything else that drives that passion f- to be able to share through your food yeah so what we we really want and keep myself right it's to make healthy eating exciting and tasty so we kind of want to show okay healthy eating might be fun so you can basically take your boring salad, put out pimp my salad seeds and make it m- more flavorful and add more nutrients in there. Yeah, yeah. So we, we really wanted to give people something healthy that also tastes great yeah. and bring more fun, more excitement in their life. Yeah, yeah. That's what we basically wanted. That's why we we created Peep Myself. And the the really exciting thing about creating food products, right? That it's quite quick. So you you create something and in few months you can see it on the, on the shelf the store. Yeah. While in science it could t- take like 20 years to get something real. So science is really disconnected from the people. Yes, yes. But you do some small stuff at your work in your like research, study tiny protein and you don't really see impact. And you might never see because lots of things, lots of research done just goes nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's really exciting in food that you can really give something to people. People try and they thank you right away, right? It's instantaneous, isn't it? It's like a service. It's like a service. So you're 100% right. Yes, there's such a dramatic difference from my previous uh, job. Yeah. Yeah, What do you like better, creating food or staring down a microscope? (laughs) <laughs> yeah yeah definitely food yeah. definitely food um uh, yeah. so t- tell me now as a businesswoman and an entrepreneur and a mother and you know and a wife and all those hats that you juggle obviously it's busy and your business is growing how do you keep a work-life balance ah uh, <laughs> yeah so i try i think what is really important and is to really listen what you want and to have routines yeah like for me, it's really important to have my uh, morning routine when I can like wake up, do a little bit of yoga, a little bit of meditate, do journaling. So that's really important to have like tea. Yes, <laughs> yes. Ceremony. So yeah, and and def- definitely have time for your business, time for family and time for yourself. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. So I would. That's like really important. If I'm here, I would always go go do yoga. Yeah. Like I would in my calendar. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I think yeah. it's important. It's uh, and I think that's one of the struggles, especially uh, as women. Um, you know, there's that we 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 hold so much responsibilities and we worry about everyone else. And sometimes we tend yeah. to put ourselves laugh. But carving out that time, um, even if it's you know an hour a day, fifteen minutes a day, whatever you can get. Sometimes it's more. Sometimes it's less. It's so important in just giving you an anchor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think can... it's super important. Yeah, it should be like a priority. You kind of ask yourself of what I really need to feel happy and balanced. Yeah. Because I feel all work should be coming from your kind of balanced state. 100%. From your flow state. Yes. Yeah. Because if you are stressed and you just couldn't. Uh, couldn't like uh, produce good ideas couldn't be creative and you couldn't really and people notice this right on your face yeah yeah you couldn't really solve problem efficiently 
No, you yeah. can't. Well, you do. You yeah. need to be in that in that in that relaxed sort of neutral space, so that yes. people, so that you can give your products and the best of it, and your staff the best of you as well, and and your children yeah. and your husband and all and and all of that. It's I think it's important in terms of um, the food the food industry. Obviously, you're you're so heavily involved with it. Uh, where do you see? What, what do you what do you think the next big trend is? Are we, you know, what do you th- what are you seeing? Uh, obviously, you're in the best place possible, Byron Bay, uh, mm-hmm. when it comes to healthy choices and good nutrition, organic foods. What's the trend? Um, is there any trends that you can predict when it comes to food? Uh, what I think now, since COVID happened, people started being aware a lot of about the mental health and like general well-being so what i think what i've noticed that people now they don't want to sacrifice their like general well-being for diets for food yeah so they are looking for something healthy but in the time they not sacrificing so they really look for something balanced that makes them happy yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think that that is is something what is trend is it's healthy food that tastes great that don't limit yourself. So you don't need to tell oh I have to eat it because it's healthy. But I, yeah, it tastes yeah, just yeah. as good as as you know as you know the the, the more commercial stuff. Um, yeah, that I feel like they're missing out. That I yeah, like yeah, and I feel out. people are really looking for experience. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just food, but they want to understand where it comes from, to see the brand story, what I'm really eating, and how this influence the world around me so it's lots of like mindful eating i would say uh, yes that's a big one now yeah. mindful eating yeah you know yeah. and it makes a huge difference i know i know with yeah. myself sometimes you know i am mindful and then other times i'm just like guzzling just because yeah. i've got to run to some to a next meeting or run and pick up the kid or, or do do whatever but Interestingly now, now that you, you mentioned it, so what do you eat? Like, are you a vegan? Like, what's your diet like? Uh, I'm not I'm not vegan. I just really love to eat whole food and healthy meals. Yeah, yeah. So I, I buy lots of products on farmer markets yeah. because, yeah, we have such a great markets here. And I try to eat lots of locally sourced products. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if I eat meat, I would eat only like uh, grass fed organic meat coming from good farm. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah. So now I'm just more thinking kind of where food come from rather than doing any diets. <laughs> Do you know what? I think that's a massive shift in in, yeah. in society as a whole. And I think because there's been so much talk about the quality of the soil and how it's um, it's becoming it's it's not that great and it's only and they're they're predicting in, in the future it's only going to get worse. I think more and more people are becoming more and more conscious of where their food is grown, how that food is treated and and it's not it's I, I think we're starting, and I don't know, I might be wrong in saying this, I don't want to predict anything, but I feel like collectively and globally we're starting to move from the the more is more culture to more to about quality versus quantity, you know, by one good quality piece of meat that is grass-fed on a farm um, and, and support the locals as opposed to, I'll go to the market and buy in bulk like we used to see in the 80s and the 90s. I think that yeah, mindset's yeah, starting so cool. to shift. Because it's interesting because you went from Russia to the US and I, I believe the Russian culture around food is very different to the US because, uh, you know, obviously Russia being a lot colder, you would, and I uh, correct me if I'm wrong in South not been to Russia, but you would eat more in season, right? Um, so summer you'd eat your summer foods, uh, winter you'd eat your pickles and, you know, kind of more heated foods. And then you move to America where you can have anything at any time of the year, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and and that would have been a bit of a culture shock to you and, you know, hence why I guess, you know, um, having all that accessible food at any given time also changes the way we think about food no longer is nutrition a factor 
um, it becomes like, oh, I feel like this, so I'm just going to go and buy it. How did you find that? Like, I'm interested to understand, like, how did you find that coming from such a, a, a different background, moving into a, a, such a westernised, you know, overflowing, probably um, overwhelmingly everything in your face at any given time? How did you, how was that for you? Uh, I think, uh, because I've been like a student, you know, I feel like students eat everywhere the same stuff. You <laughs> <laughs> yeah. eat on rations. <laughs> yeah, 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 because like in, in Russia, you eat like, if you're a student, what you eat is like Russian dumplings, like pilmeni, right? Yeah, you yeah. want to throw them, boil them and eat because you don't have time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, but in Russia, in my childhood, for example, we would have our own small small land and we've been growing a lot of food. Yeah, so yeah. It's really common. So I am actually grateful for this experience to be connected to the land in my childhood. Yes. And because I used to live in a small village. But then once I moved to Moscow, that's it. Your food become terrible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. we eat sausages, all this fast, fast food. That's what what you eat. Yeah. So I'm really happy kind of I've been connected to good food traditions, what you've been saying, seasonal eating, yeah. fermenting. This is all if you live in a village. Well, do you know what? Yeah. My back- but all big cities, unfortunately, same. If you go to Asia, to Bangkok, it's quite similar stuff yeah, than yeah. you go to London. I just came back from London, for example. Yeah. How yeah. was that? Oh, cold. <laughs> cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that a was that a business trip for pimp myself? Yeah, 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 yeah. We went for to trade show, yeah, because we sell our products in London. Yeah. And how does it compare to the London products? Uh to Australia. Sorry, how do the London products compare to the Australian products? Ah, uh, I th- I think in I think similar. Similar. I think in London they have more. Oh, really? Uh, because I think it's just lots of food well, comes from Europe, from America. I think in Australia we have less food coming from Europe, actually. We have much less European food. Yeah, yeah, we do. We do. So, so we don't have so many European brands. No, here. no. Actually, you're right in saying that. When we went to Spain, oh, it's, it was before COVID, um, and there was a little, um, there was a little market, and it was a, an organic little market, and there was so much, so much like variety of uh, healthy, vegan, organic, gluten free. Like I was blown away because I, I wasn't expecting yeah. it, you know. And I'm like, wow, this has actually got these guys have got more stuff than we do in back at home. So yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 because it's all, like, Europe is so connected. Yeah, yeah, but the good thing about Australia, we have lots of local yeah, food, yeah, locally grown, like, in UK, everything is exported, but here we have our own bananas and oranges, so much, it's it's such a great thing about Australia. We're very it's lucky. Grow so much food, and, uh, yeah, you can buy so much local yeah, food. yeah, yeah. No, you and even right. in Melbourne, because London, everything is from somewhere. It is, it is. But even yeah. in Melbourne now, the farmers markets are really big, and they're becoming they're becoming more and more busier. And people are, are sourcing great produce, um, and and you know, and the, the local communities all over Melbourne are supporting them. And they they are generally like you go at one o'clock in the afternoon, and half the stores are packed up because they've sold everything. So yeah. it's 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 actually a really good um, a really good community culture when um doing that and, and the, the produce is fantastic the produce is absolutely yeah. absolutely beautiful what's on the horizon for pimp your salad can we share any products that you're working on that you know i need to i haven't tried yet that i need to try <laughs> i think we we've we we've recently actually launched gluten-free croutons have you tried them no 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 yeah yeah so they're great actually my staff at the office are eating them as a snack <laughs> like, wow yum what's the yeah, base yeah. what's what are they made from so they're made basically from glu- gluten-free flour they're made from buckwheat flour corn flour it's like a mixed gluten-free flour oh perfect and yeah how- and then they're baked and we put our uh like cheesy nutritional yeast flavor with herbs so they're like vegan cheese and herbs that's nice. Well, I just recently found out that if you have high cortisol levels, that nutritional yeast is very helpful in lowering them. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a good supplement actually. It is. Yeah. And we have actually nutritional yeast by itself. You can buy from our website as well. Yeah, yeah. We have really good uh, supplier of organic nutritional yeast. That's yeah. good because I really got into it. And I actually like it. Like, yeah, you should try. I, I <laughs> like it. I, I, I went, oh, nutritional yeast. I don't know if I'm going to like this stuff. And I, and I bought some for the first time actually not long ago. And I'm like, this is really good. In my culture, we have this product. It's the worst thing ever. It's full of MSG, but I can't tell my mum and my mother-in-law not to use it because they'll, I don't think they'll be able to cook anything if they don't use it, and it's called Vegetta. For those of people that don't know there, it's like a, ah. it's, it's an Eastern European staple. I think every kitchen... <laughs> <laughs> in, has has it and um but i haven't used it for a long long time i don't use it because um it triggers asthma in my in one of my sons and so we don't use it and whenever they use it i can um i can really taste it so i've given i've snuck her a, a jar of nutritional yeast because it tastes quite similar i said instead of using that why don't you try this because it almost tastes the same and it's and yeah. So it's it's got the thumbs up from them as well. I'm thinking, oh, that's good. That'll that'll lower their cortisol levels as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, um, that's but that's great. fantastic, Olga. It's been such a pleasure talking to you today. I am very excited about your new products and um, and oh, and pip my salad and the new products, the up and coming new products. And I can't wait to see what's coming up next. So I'm going to go out there and restock my pantry in my office because mm -hmm. I thought I had some and they were gone. And I think everyone's secretly <laughs> going in there using them and not telling me. Um, but um, you've been so candid with us today. Thank you so much for sharing your journey with me. And for those that want to try pimp my uh, salad where can they find you they can find you in Woolworths some really well stocked health food Woolworths stores I believe yes 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 Woolworths and healthy food AL Health. also many healthy food stores would have our products That's or right. or you can buy from our website pimpmysalad.com.au so we have really good deals on our website actually. Oh, perfect the best deals. <laughs> the best deals. I'm jumping on there later today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we have like bundles which give you, if you get a bundle, one of everything. Oh, perfect. Yeah. That's a great way to try your products too. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I, and it's fun because if you can kind of have different things, like we have six, seven different flavors. Yeah. So like you can change every day. Like today I feel like I want something spicy. Yeah. Now I want something cheesy or smoky. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, those, those, those. Um, I, I like those coconut, um, chips. The smoky bacon coconut chips. Yeah, they're they're yeah. yum. They are yum. Yeah, but, thank you. Um, yeah, no, I'm definitely going to jump on there. And they're great products. We love them. Love. We love you and your background and everything that you've shared with us. So they are nutritionally really, really good for you. Um, and um, thank you for taking the time to talk to me today. It's been fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. It was really nice talking to you. And thank you for your questions. Oh, 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 oh,